and welcome to The Real Big Chat. Today, I am having a chat with actor, writer, director, entrepreneur, a producer porn, as well. Porn star. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Mr. Andy Frank. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show, Andy. Thanks, Thanks for coming to have a chat with us. Thank you. Um, so, obviously, you just had a big long list of things, yeah. um, but I just want to start with your latest um, project. So, you've just brought out your latest film, 198 Grand. Yeah. So, I wanted to congratulate you on that. Oh, um, <laughs> high, high five. five yeah. <laughs> um, now, you've got a very interesting cast in that film because not only do you have um, actors, you've also got singers and gangsters, if I'm yeah, but the gangs, right. sort of, but they're actors at the same time. So you know, there's loads of singers and dancers in every type. Of Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Um, the film's called One Nine Eight Grand about a bag of money that goes missing in South London. It's a very cleverly written film, I, I think, especially because I wrote it, and um, and it's doing the numbers right now. So it's on YouTube. Anyone that wants to see it, One Nine Eight Grand. All right. Stop. Yeah. So that that's your latest feature film that you brought out now. Yeah. Um, and what was the inspiration behind the film? Um, Tell me a little bit about that. Do you know what? Um, this one, I, I've got a film called Two Days in South London, gangster film that I wrote um, previous to this, mm -hmm. um, that I really, really wanted to make. It was a clever, kind of twisty, turny film. Um, and I, to be honest, I didn't have the budget to make it. So 198 grand was like a, a stopgap in between these two movies. So in, in between the film I'd done before, and um, two days in South London. So two days in South London was the part, the one that I'm supposed to have a part in, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> but you yeah, haven't done it, it yet. Was actually, yeah, no, it yeah was, you wrote was, that yeah. part for me in that and, one. And it's kind of um, <laughs> it's if you can if you if you know if you guys know like lock, stock, two smoking barrels, that kind of cleverly twisty turny story. It's that sort of theme. It's that sort of theme, you know. But it's probably more. Um, um, not saying more universal. It's probably the, the, the actual uh, demographics is more balanced. So it's just not just white, it's black, white, Indian, Asian, whatever. It's Tell a very me a little bit about the cast in 198 grand. Yeah, I mean, the cast is the cast. I mean, you got. Yeah, but my, who have you got? Um, you got my agent, um, Simon Allen. <laughs> my, my actual. And has got a cameo in this film. Well, my actual, <laughs> Except for me. My actual acting agent is in the film. He, he read the script and went, Andrew, this is a really good script. I went, I know. And he goes, I want to be in it. I said, you can't be in it. You're, my, you're actually my acting agent. He went, no, I can be in it because I'm your acting agent. <laughs> so he started in the film and- uh, Which, is he, on the, is he on the flyer? Yeah. Which one's he? Um, guy there. Mis okay. Miserable man. So, and this one here, this is, um, this is Mr. Uh, Dave Courtney. Yeah, is, yeah. Sorry, Dave Courtney, South yeah. London, Dave Courtney. Um, he's a friend of a friend. And a friend of another friend. I used to rave with him in the ministry back in the day. Yeah. Okay. Well, Dave's like, Dave's. I know Dave. He hasn't got his purple velvet jacket on him. That. That's the one I know. Do you know what? Oh, yeah. Well, you know Dave. And who else? Who else are we looking for in that? That's you, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Got me. Um, my mate Fabian Spencer, who is a, a reggae artist. He's also a very good actor. Done a lot of theatre stuff. And you've got Harvey Jukes on the on the left hand side to me. Very good actor as well. Um, we, um, we play long. Kelly LaRock, the singer. Kelly, she's in it she, as well. She's got a bit part in it as well. So. Well, let's let's have a little clip. Um, um, let's see the trailer of 198 grand, guys. Have a look. Yeah, right. H. Then his mum and told me that someone's left a driving license here. One of the robbers left it at the robbery. Tell me if I'm wrong here, since when have you had to bring ID to do a fucking robbery? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Three guys with no weapons, well, 198 grand with two blokes with weapons. Now, how the fuck does that happen? Bloody little bastards. Kids nowadays got no respect. Short films have you actually written 
uh, directly directed and brought to screen? I've, so I've made six films so far. I've made six, two short films and four feature films. And I've, in total, I think I've wrote about ten films. But I've got three, like you know, Ready big budget, yeah, big budget movies. The ones that I wrote, the six that I've made, are, is actually on a low budget, like really shoestring budget, or but, low budget, micro budget. <laughs> but know? the thing is, you managed to get people on board. I mean, and this this whole thing has been going on for a long time because yes, I was it has yes. Andy it's because job, I was job, in, I was in one of your feature films. Um, what, nine years ago? Yeah, that's, that's when I started. Ten years ago. Um, Dirty Money 2? Yeah, Blood made, Money. Dirty Money 2. Yeah, I made, a, I made Dirty Money and that was like a concept about a £50 note travelling through different people, different, um, not different players, but you know, in South London, different people in, in, interact with this £50 note. And I just created a story. It's just how it liked trans it. changed hands, wasn't it? But what, I was in the second part of that, and actually there's a little scene that we did together yeah, in that. Yeah, there's a little love um, scene that we've done. This is, oh, we've both been uh, so young, so yeah. I think we're going to have a little clip of that as well to show you. Yeah. Um, a little scene with me and Andy in his film. Not, um, 2011 yeah, it was released? Yeah, yeah, I made Dirty Money 1, Dirty Money 2, as I said, they had this little theme going on. It was easy to shoot, because all I had to do is just go to like, the various actors. Everyone had their slots, so it wasn't like I needed everyone on the same day. It was just like, bang, you know what I mean? So a little story of my life and then we went on from there. Anyway, let's have a little clip of our scene together in Dirty Money too. It's supposed to mean that you shouldn't go to strip clubs giving girls fake £20 notes for dances. It's bloody out of order. Well, they deserved it, man. Their dances are too short anyway. So, that was 120 quid's worth of dances. <sighs> Look, just give me 60 quid. 60 quid? Are you mad? Well, I want something. I was, why should I take you? So we had so much fun making that. Yeah. Thank you for casting me in your in Dirty Money Two. Right. As I say, that was my first feature film. All right. Yeah. And um, we both looked very young there. Shame. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So after that, um, what's happened? Um, we went, I went for a bit of a bleak stage, and I wrote this film. I was, I was at this girl's house one day. Where I was having a bit of an argument about what to have to have to, have to eat, and then we said, I think we said, let's have Nando's. And, and we were just talking about being millionaires, right? It's a conversation I like, I like having. And, right? <laughs> and, she and I said, so we were talking about the lottery. And I said, if you was to put, if you was to put your money down and win the lottery, right, and lost the ticket, would that person be able to claim it? I don't know. Would they? Would they? Uh, yeah. Well, sorry, I'm, 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 I'm a big no, one. I'm actually no, really really And we had this conversation. Like, imagine you won the lottery and you just lost the ticket. So I wrote a story about that, about it's called Hood Luck, and it's on YouTube now. And um, and yeah, I wrote it and shot it on a low budget. I think I shot it on like five grand. And um, didn't have like marquee actors. Richard Blackwood um, done a presenting role in the film. And the film got about, I think it's, it's only about a quarter of a mil. We've all got a quarter of a million views online and everyone was contacting me over this film. Yeah. So what happened with that film? That film was mad because like, I, as I said, released it, um, so it was like a, a, a mini a mini feature, a mini feature in my books, like about an hour and five minutes. So um, I put it out there and I had everyone in the world phoning me to remake it. It was mental. I had, I had um, at one point I had, I had Tim Roth's, uh, black people say baby mother. Well, mother's just <laughs> keep it in the children's, family. Children's mother <laughs> contacted me, Andy, Andy. I said, Yeah, he goes, I'm, I'm Laurie Baker, I'm Tim Ruff's other half. Right? And she said, Someone was interested, heavily interested in buying the concept of me. So I got a lot of interest from like um, various people in America, had um, Nollywood, Nollywood was also interested. But what it is, um, no, loads of people was contacting me to remake the film. Right, so I'm okay. saying to myself, um, one day, um, don't, you guys don't won't remember this, there's a guy, um, what's his face? Oh, he made a film called Burn the Illusion back in the day, in the 80s. Anyway, oh, I can't remember his name, he'll come back to me. He contacted me and he said, Andy, I like this film called Hood Luck. I said, oh, brilliant. Um, he goes, I want to buy it off you. I want to buy the concept and remake yeah. it on a big budget. And he mm -hmm. said he got a bit of money, like two to three million pounds to make it. Right. The story is, it's like, I didn't sell it. But it, that film would like just generated so much interest in me and what I could do. Right. So it, that's where it spiraled and you know and went on and, and, and I built you know. Because of all your knowledge and because of all the years that you've been doing this, is there a is there any sort of advice you'd give to any actors, writers, 
directed at anyone trying to get anywhere near where you are today. Because even if you say you're doing stuff on low budget, it's amazing what you do. I mean, this is your job. Yeah, but do you it, not pinch yourself a day and go like, no, you know, I don't, I don't, because I've lived life different. I think it's all psychological. People, as a kid, right? You know, and, and you're trying to walk, and you keep getting, you keep falling down. You just try and walk because in the brain, your brain hasn't been kind of structured in that way where you where you've got rules. As you get older, as you get older now, it, it's just the same thing applied. You just keep going, you keep and you keep kind of making things happen. You've got no, you're not waiting for your phone to ring. You're not waiting for your mate to knock on your door. You do it. Okay. That's, it that's all it is. All, that's all I've done. I just picked up a camera. They just put, like, um, I wrote a script. That's, and that's what, it. That's what I'm I, might, I might be decent at it. But, but at the same time, that people want to wait for something. So that's my my, my my advice to people is be confident and I'm not saying do a DIY job, but be confident and go for what you want to do and make it happen. Stop waiting for people to make it happen. That's my that's my advice. Just to touch back, yeah. 198 grand is out now on YouTube to watch. And lots more to come from yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I've got lots of films coming, I've got a big film. Well, thank you so much for coming to have a chat with me today, Andy. Absolutely. I actually don't want to be in your drinks anymore. That's no, 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 no. And you know what? <laughs> you know what? I can have some jerk chicken now, innit? So. <laughs> and last, but, and not last but not least, as you were talking about, Andy oh, don't, films. Don't, don't, I've got my champagne in there. All right, so this is also, you also have... <laughs> Just because he, just in case he got wasn't busy okay, enough. Drink just in case he wasn't busy enough, and he also has a branding, a clothing line, or a, can you get that? Because I'm just. Oh, sorry, about sorry. It. That was the whole point. You picked sorry, it up. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 Sorry.